Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children all of all ages, welcome to another episode of Luau Talk, where we talk nostalgia and the nostalgia you have driving your collecting of today with the toys and the things you loved from yesteryears. Next. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Luau. Thank you for coming to join me on this next Luau talk. Now we haven't done one of these in quite a while. Um, I don't know. But I'm back uh, to do Luau talk with a very unique take on collecting. The way I am, the way maybe you are, or maybe the way you're going to be uh, in the very near future. You just never know. Um, but before we do that, hit the like button. Subscribe, ding the bell, goes a long way, helps support the channel, algorithm, all that good stuff. I appreciate it, thank you. And um, hop in our giveaways, affiliate links, discount codes, Patreon down below, support the channel and the giveaways. But what 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 fuels your collecting, guys? You know, what what is it? What what has really been the success of Funko? You know? Think about it. What is the success of Funko? What is it? It's pop culture, it's the nostalgia of your childhood and the things that you remember and it's also taking advantage of the things that people love of today the anime and things like that or we go back and we look at back to the future TV shows like Seinfeld on my head or ALF and that is what has made Funko so popular over the years now we know where they are these days but just saying over the years that is what has made them so popular an affordable nostalgic piece to look at. Now, not everyone loves Funko, right? Some people love to just look and get the toys that one time they used to play with. It's true. I've done it myself. I sit over here and look behind. Now I can't get it because it's hard to get, but Voltron. Who remembers Voltron from the 80s? And getting that toy back in like 1985, 86, 87. Ugh, that was the toy of toys, man. Those lions were incredible. Obviously, toys are not made like that anymore, and people try to remake them. They try to maybe capture the essence that was in the 80s, but no one really succeeds great. You know what I mean? You want to make it better, you make it worse, eh, it doesn't work. Sometimes people want to go after those items that uh, were from their childhood that they just want to have again, just to look at. Right? Right? Some people will go to something like this. The ALF flip watch huh who remembers this back in mid 80s velcro wrist put it on there's your little buddy alf looking at you you want to see the time flip it up right there is your little quartz watch nothing special if you love these things it was a little digital watch would tell you the time maybe the date but there it is and uh for me this is a piece that for me i never got as a child um i don't know why but my mom never bought me this as a child <laughs> Very cool, and nostalgia. Now, I might show you things like this. Maybe you remember the movie, and then what companies do is they try to feed off your nostalgia of today, and they go to, you know, wouldn't you like to have a little Goonies authentic uh, one-eyed Willy Gold pieces? I bought it. Now, Truth be told, and, and you look at all the other stuff. You look at Super 7, bringing out older figures. Reaction, older figures. Star Wars, Black Series, and all the stuff that they do. That is what it is. Hot toys, etc. No matter where you go in the collecting market, you are feeding off that nostalgia that you had as a child, as a young man, young woman. You know what I mean? Uh, Care Bears, My Little Pony, Rainbow Bright, some other things like that, right? There's also different factors. You know, sometimes maybe you loved a movie, right? Maybe you loved a movie that was so nostalgic for you in your childhood that you remember the great Hambino. Patrick Renna, right? Who remembers that? Sandlot, fabulous movie. There's even a, a little bit of autograph card. If you like these cards, check out his. He has a clothing line. I think it's called The Great Hambino. I think that's what it's called. Check it out. Um, again, nostalgic. 
Then, of course, you look at people like Zobie Collectibles that would make little things like this. Indiana Jones. Nostalgic. All the way to sometimes people will recreate video games. Now, this little battery operated reminds you of an arcade game, Karate Champ. Who remembers Karate Champ back in the mid to late 80s? I mean, and you know, you could sit here and I could play this and it takes me back. It takes me back to my childhood. It takes me back to memories of playing this game. Nostalgic. And th this is a big collectible to a lot of different people, right? And I'm going to show you two of them that were big to me. Now, why did I get these? I got these because I had these as a child. And I wanted them just to look at. That's what it was to me because it, it's so memorable. Lunch boxes. Back in the mid early 80s through 90s, these things were tremendously popular because a lot like what Funko does, to sell them, you take your, your TV shows, your Star Wars, etc., you throw it on there. Now, I'm going to show you a metal one in a minute. We started metal. Now we went to plastic. And this is what you would take to summer camp, to school, and these are very collectible, you know. Very nostalgic, very collectible. Even more so if you had the thermos. Now for me, there was one that topped them all. I had this lunch box. Uh, I had it for summer camp and I absolutely loved it. You would go to summer camp, right? And you'd bring your lunch and they'd put it in a box and they'd keep it in a, in a fridge for you and then they'd bring it. It's just what it was. But here you go, guys. David Hasselhoff, Knight Rider. Look at that. This metal lunchbox tin, still pretty good to this day. A very sought after one. There are some Star Wars metal lunchboxes um, that are the same thing. And you gotta have the thermos. But it doesn't stop there, guys, because your nostalgia also can entwine you to do, go autographs, you know? Favorite personalities, wrestlers, things you remember from your past, ECW, Paul Heyman, and you want to autograph Funko Pop, and it can breed off of that stuff like that. Or, who doesn't forget, Beetlejuice. As the new one comes out, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, you can't forget, the, what, 1987? Original Beetlejuice. And then, don't forget, you also have other shows that feed off of your nostalgia that try to make you back, like Wonder Woman, 1985. Stranger Things. So as you can see, guys, nostalgic is what it's all about in the collecting world and realm, not just for you, but for companies too, because companies are looking for that, that great sales piece that is going to bring the kids from the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s even, to buy their products. And what sells products? It's the nostalgic of their childhood and what you remember. It brings back memories. Like Karate Champ, I remember playing Karate Champ in the Polynesian Hotel at Disney World. That's a memory that sticks into my head. And that's what it, it brings back playing that game. I remember sitting at school uh, with the ALF lunchbox in the cafeteria on a rainy on a rainy day that we can go out and play with that lunchbox. I remember wanting things that I never got as a child, like the ALF watch. So anyway, it's a it's like a a trip down memory lane, guys, and that is what collecting is all about. You'll get shows and buy DVDs and buy toys and figures that do nothing but bring back a memory to you. And it is a great thing of collecting. It's it's Hot Toys, it's Funko Pops, it's autographs, it's sodas, it's posters, it's comics, it's everything. It's all around us. It's what is your nostalgic piece? What is your number one nostalgic piece that you have or you want? Message down below. Let me know. And you know what I'm going to do? This weekend, I'm going to take my favorite. What is the favorite nostalgic piece you have? and the one nostalgic piece you want more than anything. The best two, in my opinion, I'll pick that winner on Sunday night and they're gonna win a prize. Of course, remember, you've gotta join me on Sunday night to be entered in for that prize. So stay tuned for that. Again, hopefully you like this little trip down memory lane, just talking about nostalgic pieces. 
Thanks for joining us, guys, and we will see you on the next one. I'm the Luau. This is Luau Talk. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.